it's, it's really with joy that we're able to do things together. It, it was a choice that really, um, it defined her and because of that she really did get a lot of teasing uh, because it was the unpopular thing to do. As long as he can handle it, I, I don't have any problems with it. She's a very, very nice person. I know you love her as I love her. And for that, I thank you eternally. All things are heating up pretty, pretty fast in the Taylor and Travis universe. These two started out with friendship bracelets, and things have gotten super intense super quick to the point that now they are meeting and hanging out with each other's parents. Yeah, just recently Taylor's mom decided to speak out about this new relationship that her daughter is in, and it looks like we've got another Travis fangirl on her hands because she loves him for her daughter. Wait till you hear about the pre- she was things she had to say about him, but before we get into it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss out, out on any new videos. It's free and helps us tremendously bring out new content for your enjoyment. No matter who you are meeting, the parents is always a bit of a nerve-wracked Travis Kelsey hitting that relationship milestone seems to have gone down without a hitch after making the great impression on Kelsey's folks Donna, and edit was Travis's turn to win over. Taylor's parents, and guess what? He totally nailed it. They all had dinner at Elena, a spot at the Four Seasons Hotel in one of Aries and word on the street is it went pretty darn well according to a source of people Taylor and Travis left holding hands and the NFL star was practically beaming. Travis spilled the beans on how it all went down during the latest episode of New Heights with Jason and Travis Kelsey podcast brought to you by Wave Sports and Entertainment Jason, who's 36 and Travis's brother. Our notice that Scott was sporting a Kansas City Chiefs lanyard while watching Taylor perform on Saturday night side by side with Travis being the cheeky tie in that he is Travis joked got him all over here to the good side baby referencing the Swift family's previous allegiance to the Philadelphia Eagles which is Jason's team Jason a center for the Eagles had some banter with Swift's dad. What are we doing Scott Travis chimed in just one by one getting all the good ones to come on over but Jason. Wasn't having it addressing Scott directly? You're going to let this man's devilishly good looks and relationship with your daughter sway you from a lifetime of fandom, Scott. This is ridiculous looks like the banter is real in the Kelsey family. Travis also spilled the beans on how the whole lanyard episode unfolded a man I might have persuaded him at dinner the night before when I met him, he confessed, prompting Jason's surprise reaction. No, did you maybe who knows Travis cheekily responded, letting on that Scott is a huge football guy, the Kelsey brothers then dove into Scott's football history, with Travis sharing that Taylor's dad rocked the college football scene in Hawaii, and Delaware transitioning from from a linebacker turned center caught off guard by the shared position Jason chimed in. We'll have to get together and talk some center shop one day. Looks like they're setting the stage for some serious football conversations in the midst of the episode Jason didn't let Travis off the hook pointing out how he left Scott hanging by not returning a high five after Taylor tweaked the lyrics of Karma. To give the Chiefs tight end a shout out, Travis admitted, yeah, Mr. Swift, I apologize, big guy. Oh man, I miss that I never miss a high five to big high five guy. You can do at an event, and so sorry, Mr. Swift, looks like even star athletes can fumble with a high five moment, so summing it up, it seems like Travis has won over both Mr. and Miss Swift completely. But it it's not just Travis who's integrating himself well with the family Taylor's doing a great job. Two Travis Kell's mom spilled the beans on her son spending time with Taylor Swift, saying it has amped up her life however she played at Kauai when it came to the question of whether the two are in the midst of a budding romance Donna Kelsey spilled the details on NBC's Today Show on Friday, revealing that the September 24 the game between the Chiefs and the Bears was her first time meeting Swift, it's fairly net. Though I liked so, I don't like to talk about it. It's just one of those things obviously everybody saw me. I was in the boxes with her. It's just another thing that's amped up my life she shared when asked about hanging out with Swift. She responded with a coy smile saying it was okay Donna Kelsey skillfully dodged. Questions about whether her son also 33 and Swift are in a budding romance stating I honestly can't tell you it's just too new looks like the mystery continues Donna Kelsey made it clear that she's not. Diving too deep into her son's personal lives, she shared a bit about her parenting style, emphasizing that significant decisions, including the matters of the heart, are left for her kids to navigate. 
I don't give them advice. They've got to sink or swim on their own. They've got to make their own mistakes and their own wonderful accomplishments in life. Then they know it's theirs, she explained regard regarding being thrust into the spotlight with fans on Instagram and people on the street requesting Elfie's Donna Kelsey expressed that she's savoring every moment, even as the swift romance adds even more hype to her family. I feel like I'm in some kind of alternate universe. It's just really, really strange, she shared. It's fun. It's a great ride at times. It gets a little annoying, but most of the time. People are just so sweet, so kind, so generous. What mother doesn't like to hear their kids are great. Looks like she's rolling with the unexpected fame and enjoy the ride the ongoing rumors about Swift and D. Kelsey are still ablaze online, especially with the NFL making nods to Swift songs during games and frequently catching her reactions on camera. Kelsey recently mentioned on his podcast New Hates that he's having a good time but wants to respect both his and Swift's privacy earlier Kelsey. Spilled the beans about his attempt to connect with Swift, he joked on his podcast about trying to slide a friendship bracelet to her with his number during the Aries tour over the summer, a source close to Swift. Previously shared with NBC News that she and the NFL star are indeed hanging out emphasizing that it's all still the early stages looks like the rumor mill is still churning with these two. And Ed Kelsey Travis's dad is not only a fan of his son, but also a fan of Taylor Swift speaking. To E.T., he shared, she's very down-toe, very genuine. She doesn't put on airs or anything like that. The girl next door is an overused term, but she really is so. I think the Keeley family is giving Taylor Swift the stamp out. Approval word on the street is that there might be a Thanksgiving meetup in the cards for Taylor Swift's parents and Travis Kale's folks. The great find is buzzing with rumors about this potential family get-together, and fans are all ears for the latest scoop with Taylor and Travis getting closure by the Day Thanksgiving could be the scene for a real family affair. The casual vibes of holiday dinner might just set the stage for a new chapter in their story. So stay tuned for the Thanksgiving saga it cut. Be a game changer. Here's the inside scoop. And you know how it is Thanksgiving with two families is no small deal. Travis just snagged a sweet six million pad in Casey. And it's way more chill and private than this old place, making it the perfect spot for a big family gathering as for Christmas. That's still up in the air, but word on the street is that they're all talking about it. Our insider spilled the beans that the couple is dead set on spending the holiday season together and working overtime to yince up their crazy schedules. Taylor and Travis are all in for some quality holiday togetherness. Keeping the TNT love train on track won't be a walk in the park. Our insider spilled the tea that Taylor's globetrotting schedule for the next year and Travis's own commitments might make things a Tag complicated, but hold up word as they're both throwing their hats in the ring and committing to make this serious relationship work. We think they're gearing up for the challenge and ready to navigate the mud. Aisles between them stay tuned for this long-distance love story. So what do you think will these two be able to make it work? Or is Travis going to turn into another Joe comment down below? And let us know if you like this video, click the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my Next video, I post updates like this every week where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities.